What happened to Toyota's new electric vehicle is embarrassing and funny at the same time. I'll tell you what happened and the State of Charge host Tom Malogny will be here to share the laughs and offer an explanation on how in the world Toyota has messed this up. And we're gonna start right now. Ooh, welcome to E4 Electric. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. Toyota has finally launched its long-awaited second attempt at an electric vehicle, this time without the help from Tesla. And before pretty much any of them got delivered to their first customers, they had to recall all of them. You see, apparently, while Toyota was busy developing the amazing marvel of an EV technology with up to 100 kilowatt max charging rate for the all-wheel drive models, yeah, take that lucid, and literally reinventing the wheel with the yoke, which nobody really asked for, they kind of forgot to figure out how to keep the wheels on. That's right, the wheels are literally coming off of the new Toyota EVs due to the hub bolts potentially loosening up. Another problem with the bolts. Toyota says that the bolts can loosen up and the wheels can pop right off and this can occur in the situations where the vehicles are subject to, and I quote, sharp turns and sudden braking. Or as we, the industry insiders call it, and I don't mean to overwhelm you with the complicated professional jargon, driving. Toyota went on to say, and again I quote, if a wheel detaches from the vehicle while driving, it could result in the loss of vehicle control, increasing the risk of a crash. But not to worry Toyota, I have spent the entire day consulting the best manufacturing experts in the industry and almost all of them have agreed on this effective solution. I wrote it down so I don't mess it up. Let's see. Um, righty tidy, uh, lefty loosey. All right, I didn't consult any actual experts. Uh, this came from my seven-year-old nephew, but I think the advice is uh, just a solid. So all of the BZ4X vehicles that have been produced so far are recalled. Now I know what you're probably saying. Well, I guess I will just go for the Solterra, which is an EV based on the BZ4X from Toyota's sister brand, Subaru. Well, guess what? It may look similar, well, actually more pleasant if you ask me, but apparently it's exactly the same down to, you guessed it, the hub bolts. And so all of the Solteras are recalled as well, totaling in about 5,000 already produced vehicles. Really, Subaru? You ripped off the entire car? Couldn't even design the wheels? I mean, is Solterra essentially catfishing for the BZ4X? It looks better in a Tinder profile, but once you meet it in person, you realize it's got some screws loose. Of course, this is not Toyota's first embarrassing recall. Back in 2019, a massive recall was triggered when it was discovered that an accelerator paddle sticking to the ground caused, and again I quote, unintended acceleration. Wow, those Toyota PR people really have their way with words. I hope Rivian PR people are paying attention. So you mean the car speeds up for no reason and crashes into whatever's in front of it? No, 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 no. Uh, it's experiencing unintended acceleration. Yeah, that's right. Wait, wait, but and then what? And then, you know, the end of the press release. Some of the other famous recalls within the context of green cars is the one that the General Motors is currently in the middle of, recalling all Bolt EVs ever made due to some of them bursting into flames for no good reason. Or as Toyota PR would call it, an unintended glow effect. And of course, the granddaddy of all recalls, the Volkswagen Dieselgate. Now, in case if you didn't catch my sarcasm in the beginning of the video, even though Toyota has all of the resources and technology to make an amazing electric car, the BZ4X is actually a very average and in some aspects disappointing EV. Toyota has been lobbying in the media and even in the US Congress for the slowdown of the EV adoption and it's obvious they did not bother putting too much effort into this one 
But even in a bad EV, I kind of expect the wheels to, you know, stay on. For more, we turn to the host of the State of Charge YouTube channel, who's got all of his bolts tightened up, Tom Malogny. But before that, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by Electrify America, the largest public fast charging network in the US that provides the freedom for all EV drivers to go where they need to go, including coast to coast. With over 800 locations across the US, with more than 3,500 individual DC fast chargers nationwide and growing. Download their app to find hundreds of locations and sign up for their Pass Plus membership for discounted charging sessions. Get started using the link in the description of this video. All right, Tom, uh, now before we get to the recall, um, what are your thoughts about this EV, uh, you know, with the wheels on? Is this an impressive <laughs> EV? It's really hard to call it impressive, Alex. You know, it's... Um... Uh, I've, I've, I think I've said this before in your show. I, I don't remember if we talked about this, but it seems like it was a very pedestrian effort by Toyota. They certainly didn't put the weight of their brand behind this and say, let's make the best electric vehicle we can possibly make because it comes up short in a lot of places. All right. Now about the recall, like how could this happen? I mean, even if this would have happened to a brand new startup making their very first car the first day, that would still be pretty you know, embarrassing at the very least, how could this happen to a veteran manufacturer with, you know, years uh, of experience? I mean, how? So, you know, recalls happen. Uh, Toyota has been known for their quality and their manufacturing prowess. They're supposed to be, you know, the best at building cars. But, you know, mistakes are made. And uh, I'm not going to be too he heavy handed on them with this. We see recalls across the board on all different manufacturers, even, you know, the company that's supposedly known for, you know, great engineering and the best manufacturing. Uh, it, it can happen. Uh, hopefully they'll fix it quickly and it won't uh, develop into a big problem. The good One of the good news is they really haven't sold many of these vehicles yet. I mean, I think this recall could have come out next year and they still wouldn't have sold very many of them. So that's not going to be a huge problem. I think they only have to recall a couple thousand of them. It's not like, you know, when some of the other OEMs have a recall, they've already sold 50,000 vehicles after, you know, the first year. That That's not the case with uh, the BZ4X. Now, you mentioned that, you know, Toyota is known for their quality of manufacturing. I mean, do you think this is enough to, be, you know, damage that reputation in the eyes of the consumers? Yeah, I don't think so. I think there'd have to be multiple missteps on multiple vehicles. You don't lose a good reputation like they have on one recall. Recalls happen, you know, and luckily um, this they were able to catch it before anybody got hurt. It's not like... They announced this recall after there were a couple of fatalities or, you know, something worse than that. It seems like they nipped it in the bud and they'll get these things fixed. And it's probably just really not going to affect operations, in my opinion. Yeah. Now, I listen, this recall has nothing to do with the fact that this is an EV, but it's all about the perception. Do you think this will damage the reputation of yet another EV before it even comes out? You know, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I'm I, inclined to say I don't think so. Uh, but the fact that it seems like Toyota didn't really make their best effort with this, then you have to wonder, uh, did they just not invest a lot into the engineering of it? Is something else going to happen next and break? Um, that's It's interesting. I would have felt a lot better about this vehicle if it came out with fantastic specs and we all said, wow, you know, Toyota was late to the game, but look at what they put out. But that wasn't the case. It was kind of like, all right, they had to make an EV. So this is what they put out. And now it just came out and we find there's a, you know, something was engineered incorrectly. There's a faulty part. So it's, it's, it's raising an eyebrow, but let's keep an eye on this. And if, future problems happen, then I think that's going to be more of a reputation issue. But this, if it's a one-off, I don't think they're going to have any issue. You won't have any issues subscribing to Tom's channel because, well, I made it easy for you and I put a link to it in the description of this video. All right, looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time and remember to stay charged. Take it